Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another green light unboxing. And today we've got Running on Empty uh, Series 11. So again, as usual, six car cases. That's how green light does it. Uh, six cars in the series. It appears that this is a sealed case. Green light tape, both sides. Uh, this case was ordered by um, Dicastrum. I think he gets them from 3000 Toys. I usually get all my green light mostly from uh, SC Diecast here locally, but he gets them from them. Um, he orders them in sealed cases and he lets me go ahead and unbox them on my channel before I forward them over to Romania, which is where he lives. All right, so let's check it out. I have no idea what's in the series. I honestly do not. Uh, it's series 11 of Running on Empty. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea what's in here. So, this will be kind of exciting. And if you don't know what's in here, we'll be discovering it together. I'm just going to pull them out one by one. Of course, we do have a chance at a chase, which is always pretty cool. And we've had some pretty good luck um, with these green light cases getting green machines. So, we're going to start with the 2020 Nissan 370Z Coupe. And... There it is in Gulf livery. So if you're a Gulf livery fan, uh, this one's definitely for you. Um, as far as card art goes, it's fairly basic. They've been doing kind of the same style card art since the series was conceived. Here you go. You can see everything that's in the, uh, the series here. So this is everything we're going to see. And it's pretty cool. So, yeah, card art... Not too much to look at. Greenlight typically doesn't really spend a whole ton of time on Carter, and that's and that's fine. At least it doesn't seem that they do. They use a lot of the same. Once they have a Carter down for a series, they'll keep it the same, which is cool. It's fine. Um, so here it is, the Nissan. They used a reflective paint back here for the taillights. That's kind of an improvement. I don't think I've seen them use that before in this car. Um, number on the bottom is 4133. Uh, the tooling number for the Nissan is 180. Uh, the reason why we talk about tooling numbers sometimes and why I try to find them is that kind of gives you an idea of the age of the casting. Now, we know this is a pretty much a brand new casting for um, green light, but, uh, of course, the higher number of the tooling, the longer, the, or the, the least amount of time the casting's actually been around. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Another Gulf livery car for you Gulf livery fans. Ooh, the next is this 1967 Jeepster Commando Off-Road. I gotta say, this one looks pretty cool. Right off the bat. Um, I should preface, too, that usually I don't really collect the running on empty series because I don't, like, I like plain cars. Not necessarily with a bunch of, you know, Goodyear livery or Golf livery. Golf livery is cool, but, you know, mostly I like to get, like, stock miles. 2916 on the bottom of this one. This is a newer um, tooling as well. And man, this looks cool. This looks really cool. I like actually the the nice like like silver. It's shiny. Uh, metallic silver uh, tampo action. Or whatever graphic action. However they print on these cars. The wheels look pretty cool too. I must say. And um, that extra stuff in the back looks nice as well. I think... I think I've got one example of this tooling so far, and I don't think it has all these little accessories on it, so that's, that, I think that one's pretty neat. Let me know what you guys think, but I like it better than the Nissan, and I'm not a Jeep guy. Alright, next we get the 71 uh, Ford Club Wagon, BF Goodrich. Now, you know, I'll probably end up getting this one because I'm, I collect these vans. I like these vans too much. And the Ford Club Wagon is a pretty much uh, brand new tooling for Greenlight as well. 1443 serial number on this one. And like I said, you know, the car is pretty basic. So you've got, if it's a tire company, you're going to have a stack of tires. That's why in Goodyear we had that. It's a, you know gas station or whatever, a fuel company, it's going to be this old school gas pump looking thing. So that's how they do the artwork on these. 
Uh, so this is pretty cool. Not the best version of this van to come out so far, um, in my opinion. Just because, like I said, I like more stock-looking um, vehicles. But this is such a cool tooling, and, and they did a, such a great job with the tooling that, uh, you know, it's hard for me not to want to get all of them. Just because I, you know, I adore vans, right? So, we're going to put that in the neat pile. I'll probably end up getting it. And next is this. Look at this. The 1959 Austin 7. Little mini Cooper in shell livery. That actually looks pretty awesome. Look at that. Full service gasoline station. So it's got the red stripe across the top. Shell livery. Um, you guys already know if you watch this channel. I'm, I'm a big fan of the tooling. I liked it. Uh, 1822. This little guy. Man, that's cool. I actually really like this. Um, I just got done saying how I don't like stuff with gas station logos and stuff all over it, you know. Um, and usually I'm not a fan of yellow and red. It reminds me of ketchup and mustard and McDonald's and stuff. But, man, this one in shell literally looks kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, that one I might debate on. I don't know. I don't want to say I'm going to go after every single one of these minis because I know they're going to release a thousand different variations of it. But, ha, ah, that actually does look pretty good. <laughs> and seeing a bunch of minis piled up would actually, I think, look pretty awesome on display. All right, next, we got this guy, the 1994 Ford Bronco in Motorcraft livery. And then, shoot, this one's pretty cool, too. So, Motorcraft quality parts, a little bit different card art for that. You get, like, an oil filter, an air cleaner. Oh, I don't want to like it, but I do. I do like it. I've got like the F100 lifted truck in like almost the same exact livery. Ugh, it looks good. It's got a trailer hitch on the back. Um, the wheels might be a little bit small. The tires look maybe a little bit small. Uh, this looks pretty good, guys. All right. 1134 is on the base of this thing. Yeah, I'm going to have a hard time probably not picking this up. Yep, for sure. I think it's pretty cool. All right, so that's five. So we have one left. And it is not a green machine. All right. Bardall. Cool. Add it to your motor oil. Bardall. Oils and additives. And this is a 1972 Chevy Nova. Man, does this one look pretty cool, too, actually. Oh, that black and yellow looks good. I won't get this one. I probably won't get this one. 740 is the number on the base. Um, but darn, it actually looks really good. Uh, the front end looks good. Uh, so this is a relatively new tooling as well. Um, let me see the tooling number. It's like 179, I think. Yeah, 179. Actually, you know what? This whole set is like pretty much new toolings. You know, this is one of those sets where I'm like, I wasn't really excited to unbox it at all. But there are some actually really nice ones you'd think this would be my favorite in the set because I like Nissan Z's right and I, I enjoy golf livery here and there but it's not I am having a hard time now this looks really good it really does um, I mean I even like I don't even you know, Goodyear Racing, yeah, it's cool, I guess. I don't know. I just like it. Uh, that kind of silver paint right there. Just, I don't know. I think it looks good. It looks like a really cool Jeep. Um, and this also looks really good. I don't know. I guess if I had to pick a favorite, 
even though I probably won't get this one or add it to my collection, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. The one I probably will end up adding to my collection is this one. And I'm also going to have a hard time not adding this one and also not adding that one. So that's like half the set right there. But pretty darn cool, I must say. All right. And that's going to be it for this series. So this is Running on Empty Series 11. And I would say it's it's a good one. It's definitely got, I love that it's got pretty much all new toolings in it. And I think it looks quite fantastic. So, um, guys, let me know in the comments which one of these you are going to pick up. Are you going to pick up any of these cars? Um, do you agree with me on sort of like the ranking of things? Um, you know, yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. All right, thank you guys for watching another Greenlight unboxing. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and you guys have a great day.